Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So, uh, I don't know how much catching we're actually going to do today. We've got some old stuff that we've got to get pulled and moved, but we'll show you a bunch of satin anyway. Uh, we'll have some catches. I just don't know what or how many. Uh, been pleasantly surprised actually the last couple days. I haven't done a lot of filming uh, just because the weather's been just such crappy. It's just been terrible with snow and rain and and everything like that but uh anyway we're kind of getting back at it here again and we gotta like i said we gotta get a bunch of stuff pulled and moved um some of the stuff i'm gonna show y'all today share with you uh our two comments last night from two different trappers we had we had pretty good amount of snow here uh day before yesterday and it mashed the grass and the weeds down in the ditches but uh I heard a comment made that they were putting their cotta bears away because they're 220s and 160s because the grass is matted down so bad they can't set the trails. They're afraid the coon are going to get wise to the cotta bears. I'm going to show you all today that ain't true and uh, how you can set those trails and, and still keep taking the coon. We're, it's the 17th of November right now. Now's the time you need to be bringing them cotta bears out and using them. So uh, anyway, stay with us. We'll be back here just pretty quick. We gotta get on down the road. Boys, we got a beautiful, beautiful piebald skunk there. He's just almost all white, but not quite. Man, is he a pretty son of a gun. We'll get him taken care of and then we'll get on down the road here. We put a handful in the back of the truck, but the weather's just so nasty out here right now that I ain't filmed a whole lot, so we'll get him took care of and we'll go see what else we got. Uh, Alright guys, we got, took a big old coon out of here yesterday, but today we just got a coon. Uh, 220 set there in that trail. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of cover here, but they'll work if you put them in. All right, guys, here we got a big old pretty coon sitting there in a foothold. Trail coming down through. Going across over here to another timber ditch and a pick corn field. Get him put in the truck and we'll get on our way. All right, guys, now we got the same snow that they got up around western Iowa here the other day. It's just all melted off now, but it mashed the grass down. All I did was fluff that grass back up, put that 220 in there, and it put them cedar boughs right over top of it. That's all you got to do. And if you don't have cedars in your country, find pine trees or goldenrod weeds, anything, any heavy brush. Don't be using grass. Just any heavy brush, put over top of that conibear. I'm telling you, them coon will duck right underneath there. So will them bobcats, so will them fox. All right down the road all right guys we got a really hot trail here coming underneath this cedar tree going out to a pick corn field i'm gonna try to con a bear it i believe i can pretty easy here uh if not we'll stick a pair of footholds in it anyway we'll uh we'll get after it here and i'll show you that when i'm done all right guys there it is just stuff it in there put cedar boughs over it Back away, catch coon. All right, guys, so we ended up with 13 coon in the truck today along with that really, really, really pretty skunk over here. Just absolutely beautiful. Let me move around here a minute and uh, get you a better look at him. That thing is just gorgeous he's not really black and white he's silver and white i hope it shows up really good in the camera but i don't know how well it will but uh anyway he's absolutely just beautiful uh, really really great markings up here on his face and his chin just really outstanding specimen so anyway that's what we ended up with for the day 
All right, guys, I know that was kind of a quick little video here today. I know it didn't take much. Uh, it didn't really show a whole lot. But uh, like I said, weather has just been so nasty. It's really windy and, and snowing and, and, and blowing and carrying on. It's just it's just not good. Uh, but it's supposed to straighten up here in the next couple days. We're really busy trying to get a bunch of traps set, uh, anticipating a warm-up on Sunday night, uh, anticipating a pretty big catch on Monday morning. Guys, I sure appreciate you tuning in and watching. Uh, if you would, please hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that notification bell. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And uh, I'll answer back with you, with you just as quick as I can. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.